I think this box is just fantastic. I'm excited. I can't wait to look at these babies close up because these pick, what is this? What is this? Get off. <laughs> Go away. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's square you time and I am pumped. I'm so pumped to see what's inside this month's box. Although let's be honest guys, I already know what's in here. I've seen the polishes, but I have not seen the formulas in person. So I am super, super pumped to uh, open up this box. But before we get there, we've got some things to take care of. Numero uno is, for those of you that were unaware, I have a vlogging channel. I will link it down below. The only reason I'm mentioning it right now is because I've actually put some vlogs on there very recently. Uh, maybe since the beginning of June, I've had a couple of vlogs on there. So in case you wanna see more of what's going on over here behind the scenes once the camera is clicked off, Go ahead and check out my vlogging channel, Chazita. Like I said, I'll link it down below and there should be like three, maybe four new vlogs by the time you click on that channel. So just putting it out there in case you guys are curious. The second thing that I wanna mention is as usual, this box was given to me for free for review by Square Hue. So thank you so much Square Hue once again, you guys are awesome. And this month's box looks a killer, but first, I need to check my teeth. I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth. Let's inspect. I do! I knew it, I knew it. Ugh. I'm in the process of starting Invis Invisaligns very soon. If you wanna know why, go check out my vlogging channel. Um, and like the Invisalign trays just attract lipstick like crazy. So pardon me if I have to check every now and then for the lipstick. All right. We are clear for takeoff, so let's open up this month's box. Just like in last month's video, I am going to just go ahead and talk about this month's box, we'll review the polishes, and then as far as teasers for next month's box or like discussions of next month's box, I'm just gonna talk about all three colors. I think it's fun, I'm actually excited, and next month looks pretty good too. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. We are definitely going to be looking at these ones, reviewing them, and then we're just gonna talk about next month's box entirety because it's gonna be awesome. So let's open up this baby. We already know what's in here. Oh, and also, before I open it up, I was just looking on the Square Hue website today. They still have this box available for sale on the Square Hue website. So if you still want, if you missed out on, on June's box and you still wanna pick it up, it is available for sale right now. I think it's $25 for all three bottles. And I have a coupon code that you can use to get 10% off of that order. So look in the description box down below. I'll have a link to Square Hue. It is my personal affiliate link. If you don't want to use it, that's totally fine. Just search Square Hue and it'll pop up, no problem. I also have a 10% off discount code that you can use on this box. And you can also use on your subscription as well. So go ahead and check out the description box if you're curious or if you want to learn more about Square Hue. All that information will be down below. Okay, all that stuff is now taken care of. Let's see what's inside this box. Okay, here we go, here we go. I know I shouldn't be surprised at all, but it's just always so exciting. Okay, so we have our card. This month's box is, what's the dance? Cabel, Cabelia, Cabelia or something like that. Okay, here we go, ready? Big reveal. ba -da! Oh, yeah, yes. I mean, just look at those colors. Just look at them. They're beautiful. Oh, I think this box is just, Fantastic. I'm excited. I can't wait to look at these babies close up because these pick, what is this? What is this? Get off. <laughs> Go away. Because these colors are fantastic. I love how bright they are and how great they look together as a set. Mm. Okay, we're gonna start first with this blue one right here. Mine's a little bit um, separated. This box has been sitting on my counter for about a week. Um, so I'm gonna just mix this up real quick so we can get a good look at it. I need to get one of those mixers. Do you guys have one of those? Those like um, battery operated nail polish like mixers? I feel like I need to invest in one. Cause I know this isn't that hard to do, but it is annoying. This color is called Otani, and it is labeled as a Crelly. Now it is a beautiful kind of cornflower denim blue that is absolutely 
a gorgeous. I'm not really excited about the formula because I am not a fan of Krellies. I don't like jellies. I don't like shears. At least I know ahead of time this is going to be a shear. I have to mentally prepare myself before I test it out. Prepare yourselves. I have cut my nails. I've been doing a lot of gardening lately and I broke a couple of nails just this last like recent uh, gardening excursion. So I'm down to some nubbins, but don't worry, they'll grow back super, super fast. All right, here we go. So definitely watery, but it still applies nicely. So, I mean, it's really smooth and it's not like skippy at all, which is nice. I like the color. I really think the color is beautiful. It's coming up on camera extremely bright and vibrant, but in real life, it's more like muted. It's definitely more muted. Um, it's just coming up on camera super, super bright. I, I don't know, I kind of like this formula. I did notice um, since filming the first half of this video with like the reviews and unboxing and stuff that this polish does seem to separate really, really quickly. Um, it separates really, really fast. So I don't know if that's just manufacturing issues or what, but I had to like shake it up really, 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 really quite a bit um, before I could use it right now. So I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of how quickly it separates. Um, so I don't know. Um, all right, so that's the first coat. It's okay. I mean, it's it's a sheer, so I, I don't love it. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not in love with it. Um, I'm not a fan of the sheerness of it, but the color is really pretty. All right, so Dub Dumb forgot to turn on the mic when I started doing my second coat. But here is the second coat of Odani. Um, it actually builds up really, really nicely. I was actually quite surprised at how well this polish built up in two coats. I think I would be okay with two coats on this one, but my nails are really, really short right now when I was testing out these polishes. I feel like if you had longer nails, you might need to do a third coat because you would have a longer amount of uh, free nail that you would need to cover. So I was okay with just two coats of this one, but I think you wouldn't need any more than three for sure. It's not bad. The only thing that I noticed, um, the other thing that's just kind of a little bit of a disappointment is the, the, the finish on it when it dries. It's a little bit on the like satin side. It's not super glossy, nor is it matte. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like I, I knew it was going to be cr like really sheer. And if you go into it expecting a sheer polish, it's actually not that bad. So I was impressed with how opaque I was able to get it in two coats. Some people might need a third. Three coats is not that bad. I mean, it's, it's doable. It's definitely, definitely doable. I really do enjoy this color. Kind of wish that the formula was just not in a curly style, but that's what they labeled it as. That was fully on their intention, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it. Let's move on. Next color we have is this one in the middle. This one. I've seen so many swatches of this, and it seems like a color that I would not personally like be all gaga and goo goo eyes for, but it's so pretty. This one's called Langa. It's amazing. It's labeled as a micro shimmer. So we have this beautiful, very delicate silver, finely milled shimmer that Square Hue is just so good at accomplishing. Kind of chocolatey brown slash like kind of purpley. If you were trying to make an eggplant out of chocolate for some reason, I don't know why you would want to do that but you would have this kind of purpley chocolate, so kind of a darkened mauve chocolatiness. I like it. So let's try out this formula. Looks to be pretty good. I mean, it's it's smooth and silky. Like we already know, like Square Hue has really nice like fluidity with their formulas. It's just sometimes the opacity is kind of hit or miss. This one in particular seems to be pretty opaque. I am applying pretty thick coats though. So I would guess that this would be a solid two coater polish. I think you might be pushing it if you tried to get it done in one coat. Like I'm looking at it right now. Some of these nails would be okay in one. Um, but I think overall it's safe to say that this one would probably be better off as a two coat polish. However, the way I am applying it right now, which like I mentioned before is very, very thick coats, I think I'm going to be okay in one coat. Um, but yeah, I think I'm good in one. If I had longer nails, this probably would be again, like I said before, two, a solid two coater. But for me right now with these short nails, I can totally get it opaque in one. This is what Square Hue is good for. This awesome cream formula 
vanilla with this beautiful shimmer running through it and then we've got this kind of unique color that I have not seen yet from Square Hue and I've been with them since 2014. I dig it. I totally dig it. The last one is... <laughs> Guys, I love it. The last one in the box is called Angraki and it is pink. <laughs> This is labeled as a high gloss cream, so we know we're in for a treat because Square Hue has fantastic creams, and this one looks amazing. It's definitely like a mid-tone magenta. It is super, super saturated. We don't have any kind of pastelliness happening. We don't have any darkened, like grayed out, shaded magentas, no. To me, this is like pure, pure magenta. This formula is amazing like look how smooth it goes on the nail i want to say the i would be happy with one coat on this granted my nails are super super short like i mentioned before if you had a little bit more of a nail line you may need to do two coats but i don't think this polish will need more than two like this is a fantastic barbie pink cream i am so in love with this this is amazing Mm, I love it. I love it. I love it. And these high gloss creams when they dry, they have a really, really nice glossy finish as well. This is definitely my favorite polish out of the entire collection. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful polish, beautiful formula. Everything about this is amazing. I mean, I, 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 I just, I, it's, it's amazing. This color is magnificent. I am all for this particular polish. But to be completely honest, I am all for this entire box. I think all of these colors complement each other so nicely. You could easily come up with a really awesome, solid manicure using all three of these colors, but they're also rock stars all on their own, which I absolutely adore. I've had some favorite boxes, and this one is definitely up there. This is definitely top five. Top five for sure. Even with this one that has like the Corelli formula that I'm not a huge fan of, I still feel like the color palette is so perfect and just absolutely gorgeous. I think this box is fantastic. And now let's discuss next month. If you want to be surprised and you want to be, keep everything a secret and you don't want to know, then now is the time to say goodbye in this video because I will be revealing all the colors and all the formulas in next month's box. So if you don't want to know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to see, if you want, don't want to have any clues, then I will see you guys in my next video. So if you are still watching, that means you are geared up and ready to learn about next month's box, what the theme for the box will be, and the colors and formulas. The theme for next month's box is going to be Maniera, Mar, Marine, Marinera, Marinera. So oh, it's a Peruvian folk dancing. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I don't know how I feel about it because as I've mentioned before so many times in my, in my videos, I am a very seasonal person. I like neons in the summer. I like jewel tones in the fall. I like pastels in the spring and like, you know, Christmas colors in the winter and like subdued, like cool toned polishes in the winter. And this box is an interesting box for July because there are no bright polishes in this collection. It looks very subdued. It looks very, like not dark, but just like deep. It looks very deep. So let's talk about the colors. The first one is Serana, which is labeled as a high gloss cream. It looks like a kind of creamy white color. Not sure how I feel about that. It might be close to Johnston Canyon, which might be a bonus for some of you if you missed out on the, on um, January's box of last year. So I don't know. We'll see. The next color in next month's box will be Limenia. I think that's how you pronounce it. But my Spanish is horrible, so I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But we have Limenia, which is a kind of rusted red, darkened terracotta shimmer. It's labeled as a shimmer, so we can expect it to have a lot of that nice square hue shimmer that we're big old fans of. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm really excited about that color, and I think it's going to look really, really nice in that square hue shimmer. The next color that they have is called Nortenia, and it's an eggplant purple. Looks so pretty. Um, it is labeled as a high gloss cream and I am pumped because as we all know, I am adored and a fan of the creams from Square Hue. I think it's gonna be a really beautiful, unique color that we haven't seen from Square Hue and it's gonna be in that cream formula, which we all know is going to be 
fantastic. So I think next month's box is just an interesting palette. It's a very interesting palette for July. Really, really deep, interesting colors. Not my personal like choice or first pick for summertime, but I'm willing to give it a try. So that is next month's box. I am not as super, I'm not as excited as I was for this month's box. I gotta admit, I was chomping at the bit for June's box, and for July, I'm a little bit hesitant. Got a little bit of some reservations. I'm not quite feeling it. I don't know, the feelers are out still for next month's box. So let me know what you guys think about this month, about next month, about how you feel about Square Hue, or maybe how your day has been. I don't know. Just let me know in the comment section down below. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!